Hello and welcome back with another Xbox video. In this one I'm going to show you how to replace the built-in hard drive with a much bigger one. The things you'll need is a Molex Y splitter, uh, a hard drive obviously. This is a standard ID drive or sometimes also referred to as par parallel ATA and also you'll need a screwdriver kit it has uh, this screwdriver needs to have Torx tips okay these are the tor Torx tips which is a uh, TORX you need T10, T15, and T20 tips for this to work. Okay, you also need to install an application on your Xbox. So, once again, I'm going to turn on the Xbox and then uh, go to the PC and put it on there. Okay, this will be just like all the others. So here's Chimp, which you can download from the blog post in the video description. So extract it, FTP to your Xbox, go to your apps folder, upload it, and that's it. Once again, reboot the console. Okay, and there you have Chimp, which is a hard drive cloning utility. But first of all, you need to erase everything from the console so that uh, the cloning will be as fast as possible. Okay, now I have two games installed which would really slow down the process. So go to File Explorer and erase these. You can also delete this via FTP from the PC, but it's a little bit faster if you do it directly on the Xbox. Okay. That's it. And now it's time to disassemble the Xbox and prepare it for the hard drive upgrade. So now, now I gotta shut it down and remove any cables. Okay, this is the bottom of the Xbox. It has six screws which you need to remove. Four are under these rubbers. And there are two hidden un un under these stickers. Okay, here's one and uh, here's another one. So grab your T20 Torx tips. Now you can simply remove the screws. Now we gotta remove these rubbers, but it may be a bit difficult by hand, but it's certainly doable. But if you don't feel like doing it, then you can use a flat screwdriver. Okay, here it is. All the remaining screws are revealed, so proceed with removing them. Once it's done you can flip the Xbox and simply pull the cover. Okay, this is how it looks on the inside. Here's the hard drive and here's the DVD drive. 
So now the first thing you want to know is to prepare the hard drive for removal. For this, just get this cable out of the way. And here's another screw, which is a, which requires a Torx T10 tip. So I'm going to replace my T20 tip and unscrew it. Now this plastic should be removable, but first you need to remove this cable too. One by one. This is probably the best way to do it. Okay, now you can uh, remove the hard drive by removing these screws which, which require the T15 tip. That's it. Now you can put it back there. Now you need to install your Mo Molex Y splitter. So first you need to remove this Molex connector from the drive. You can do it by hand, but I recommend using uh, pliers like this one, which makes it much more easy. Okay, that's it. Just plug it in. And now this can support two drives simultaneously. Also, check out the jumper. This is the jumper here, this white thing. There's always some instructions as to how to deal with it. Uh, currently, it's on the right side, and that means it's on cable select. Now you gotta make sure that you change this to master. So, according to this sticker, I need to remove this jumper to set it to master. So remove this jumper and now your drive is set to master. Now plug in one of the Molex connectors and now your built-in drive is ready for cloning. Now grab the other one you just purchased and you need to set this to slave. Currently it has its jumper installed on the left which means that it's master. So that's not good. There can be only one master and only one slave. So I need to set it to slave. I need to, yes, it says that slave is, it, it's slave and it's off, so I need to remove this jumper to set it to slave. Okay. It's a little bit confusing that the built in drive is a, it gets a master setting when the jumper is removed while the other one gets a slave option when the jumper is removed so all you gotta do is check out the sticker and act accordingly now plug in the molex connector to, the, to your new drive too and you're almost there now you'll need a data cable that you can see here. It's an IDE cable which you'll need to 
remove from the DVD drive and put it in the hard drive, the new hard drive. Now the trick is that the Xbox won't boot if the DVD drive is not installed. So you'll need to hot plug this cable to your hard drive once the system started. So now I gotta power up the Xbox. Okay, it started correctly. Now go to applications and start Chimp. Okay, now that it's at its main menu, so now it's time to switch cables, unplug it from the IDE drive. There you are. And now plug it into the hard drive. Okay. Once it, that's done, select scan physical IDE devices. And it will warn you that you can only do this once after each boot. Okay, there's Dev HDA is your stock disk and if you scroll down dev hdb is your new disk okay now press exit and now you can select option 2 which is clone from master to slave so as you can see that's why you had to fiddle around with the jumpers okay Except that once again it prints a summary of the connected drives. That's fine. And yes, select yes, that means that the new drive will be erased. Let's just accept it as it is. Once again, accept it. And yes, that's fine as it is. Now it's going to take uh, quite some time, so be patient and wait until it completes. Okay, now the cloning is finished. Now you still need to go to option 3, lock slave drive. Okay, accept the defaults. Yes, you want to do this. Done. Go exit. And that's it. Now exit to shell or even quit. Okay. Now we can turn the Xbox off. So now your new hard drive is ready for use. So clean up this mess. Make sure not to throw this old drive away. It can it can be handy if the new drive it's, if something goes wrong with the new drive, this will be a good backup. Now you need to install the screws.
Okay, I'm not, not going any further. First off, uh, make sure that it actually works. So I'm going to try to turn it on. Okay, apparently it doesn't work. It has probably something to do with the jumper settings, so I'm going to check that out. My guess is that it's the disk is left as slave, but it should be master. So I'm going to try to install the jumper and set it to master. So check out the sticker. Okay, it says install the jumper on the left. So let's do that. That's it. Okay, now it's set to master. Now all I gotta do is turn it off and then turn it on again. Yes, that was a right assumption. Now it works flawlessly. And as you can see, now there appeared an F drive with plenty of free space. So, so now it's time to assemble the Xbox. So I'm going to shut it down once again. in the remaining screws okay again I need the 10 the t10 tip for this one switch to the t20 tip put back the remaining six screws once again I'm going to turn it on as a final test. And it works flawlessly. So that's how you replace the hard drive in an original Xbox. Enjoy, guys.